I'm here at my local liquor store, Total Wine and More, and I'm just fascinated at how they utilize bottles in their marketing to sell stuff. I mean, these bottles are eye-catching. Let's take a look at the different variety of really unusual and eye-catching bottles. Now look at that one. You know, that catches your eye as you go by. But look at that price. I think I'm gonna pass. But they've got some really neat styles here. Look at that sandy feet. And right below, I mean, this is a, a cheaper liqueur, only 11 bucks, but look at that. It catches your eye, doesn't it? This looks really neat. It looks like it's something you'd find if you got stuck in an island and needed some rum. Look at that, it's got the uh, the twine all around it. Isn't that cool? I mean, I hope I never get stuck on a desert island, but if I do, it'd be nice if there's rum. Here are some unusual cuts and shapes to the bottles. Sometimes it's the color, got texture to the bottles. Pretty interesting. Look at all the color. There's a whale tail and sometimes even famous people. And they might catch your eye with famous characters or maybe replicating famous characters. Look at these guys. They even have real hats on them. Ole. Look at that. And rock and roll mango shaped like guitars. A variety of different ones here. And how about this one, Mozart? chocolate white. It's actually wrapped in foil. The entire bottle. That one's kind of cool. Shaped like, I don't know, the agave plant. And the Grand Marnier has the ribbon and the wax seal. Makes it look really special and fancy, doesn't it? I mean, you got to stand out. Look at all these bottles. Some are really plain. I made the mistake of buying this once and I ended up dumping it down the drain. Here's an interesting gimmick. It comes with a cowbell. Is there really a bell in there? Yeah, there's really a clapper inside there. And look at this. Mason jars for the sipping cream. And Royal Rhino is shaped like a rhinoceros horn. Ooh, it makes me want to turn sideways. And this orange liqueur, Mandarin liqueur, it's shaped like three oranges stacked on top of each other. These pineapples are kind of interesting. Now this one's cool. It looks like a gumshoe detective on the stopper. Isn't that neat? You almost want to keep some of these bottles when you're done. And sometimes it's a pictures that catch your eye. Look at this, elephants, gorillas. I don't know what that is. I think it was a llama. Here's a couple of tough guys chasing down a wild boar, fighting a wild boar. And there's old Overholt. I haven't seen him in years. And some so fine, they keep it behind glass. Look at that, $1,999.99. Two grand for a bottle of whiskey? I don't think so. And these look like fine cut crystal. Pretty interesting. They even have the stopper, the same type as a bottle. And this looks like Halloween. Look at this bottle. It's kind of like a, a flower that's blown in the glass. How about casino? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Is that like a Christmas ornament? Not exactly sure. Did you know that the bottle from I Dream of Jeannie, the one that she lived in, was actually a Jim Beam bottle. It's true, from 1964. I hope you enjoyed our visit and a look at all those different bottles. What was your favorite? Let me know down below. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel.